What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Maybe if we have time, the S&P 500. Specifically in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the very interesting correction that seems to be starting to happen, not only on XRP, but a lot of the other cryptocurrencies. For those of you that don't remember the past couple of videos on the channel, we've been talking about the massive pump and rally that has happened within Bitcoin and the other altcoins from presumably what we think is the pay PayPal, uh, you know, release of information in regards to them adding Bitcoin and the other altcoins to their exchange. Um, but not only that, we're now seeing us kind of top off as people are starting to, you know, they already bought the rumor. Now they're starting to sell the news and we're starting to see what could be a reversal in price, which is giving us an opportunity to invest in short the market and capitalize off the gains. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Twitter, CryptoV Official. This way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you could DM me over there. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's episode. So guys, before we begin, if you haven't noticed already, we just broke 18,000 subscribers on the channel. This is incredible, and I really do appreciate all the support we get on the channel here. Um, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers, which has been a milestone for me for a long time. And then I think after 20,000, we'll do 50K and then 100K. So it's going to happen very soon. So huge shout out to you guys for helping me out. Not only that, I do also want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Best Change. For those of you that haven't watched my previous videos, Best Change has uh, sponsored the past couple of them and basically for those that don't know what exactly best change is it's basically like the wikipedia for pretty much all exchanges in regards to cryptocurrency not only do they have a massive wide variety of cryptocurrencies to choose from they also have over hundreds of different exchanges that basically offer the cheapest fees and the cheapest and quickest ways of trading. So pretty much just quickly, what exactly this uh, best change does is it's a an exchange that monitors the different exchanges with several hundred re reliable exchanges and equipments. Uh, you will uh, all with information you need to select the best exchanger for your transaction. So basically, let's say you have, I don't know, Zcash and you want to trade Zcash for, let's say, Dogecoin. Well, maybe Binance or Coinbase Pro uh, doesn't offer that exchange to happen and you want to do exactly that with the cheapest method and the quickest method. Best Change allows you to find this by literally clicking that. It will sort the exchanges by how quickly the time takes and then the reviews of the exchange from previous people that have used this and how easily it is. So I think it's extremely awesome and extremely convenient. I did link them in the description down below if you wanted to check this out. But even if you guys wanted to exchange, you know, something as simple as Bitcoin to let's say XRP, wherever XRP is right here, you could do that. And now it shows you the easiest exchanges, the quickest exchanges exchanges and the cheapest fees on the exchange too. So I think it's really cool. I highly recommend you guys to take advantage of this too. Like I said, link in the description down below. Um, but let's jump right into today's episode. So I'm actually pretty pumped as the market is starting to correct slightly lower. It's showing some beautiful signs on the charts that I really think we need to kind of dive right into and discuss. So the past couple of days, I've been really hyper focused on not only XRP, but the other cryptocurrencies trying to figure out the best pattern that's been happening on the coins. And I think with a small tweak and a small adjustment to the previous, um, you know, charts that we've had, I think I've come up with pretty much exactly what's going on. So right here, you can see my XRP chart. We do have a very long and big symmetrical triangle that's formed ever since July 6th of 2020. You can see it's already, you know, in October. So we've had all of July, August, September, October. That's four months, guys. That is a very long time for the symmetrical triangle to pan out. Now, the interesting thing is you can see clearly the resistance that we've had here as well, as easy as this has held. Resistance, resistance, we're seeing this again and correction lower. We do have our uptrend bottom support. Basically, what we're waiting for right now is to fill the gap. We have capitalized off of multiple movements within XRP. We capitalized off this beautiful moonshot right here that shot us up from 24 cents all the way to 26 cents. We made quite 
quite a bit of money off of this. And then with this small dip, we've made a little bit of money on. But basically, we're waiting for obviously us to hit this, you know, moving average right here, hit the bottom support. If we hit this here, there's a good chance I'll be buying back in to swing it back up higher and capitalize off that movement. For those of you that are interested, I did actually post my trade history here on BitYard. Link in the description of BitYard if you haven't yet signed up already. Highly recommend doing so. Basically, I've been trading XRP on BitYard. Uh, it's an exchange where I can not only buy long, I can sell short, as well as create stop losses and thing like things like that. They also offer a demo account, which is incredible. So if you guys are a little nervous about investing your own money, you can start off by trading around with a balance that is given to you of $100,000, you know, tradable money. Uh, that's not necessarily real, but it helps test your skills as to whether or not you're right. So yes, I have had some negative trades that I've made in the past that you can clearly see here. But for the most part, I have made quite a bit of profit in my last couple of trades. And this is what I want to say. Not always am I right in my trades, but I am a fair bit of time. So you can see just over the past couple of days, I have my five trades up right here. Yes, the first one was very bad. I actually forgot I made the trade. And when I looked at it again, it already liquidated and sold. But the ones that I've been hyper focused on you can see these past three right here we made a 22 percent gain 15 percent and a six percent gain over pretty much seven hundred dollars we have 314 dollar profit 220 dollar profit 118 dollar profit three four five six yeah i'd say maybe 670 we've made in profit right now 670 dollars in very easy obvious trades is an extremely good thing that's why I recommend signing up for my Patreon so you guys get the opportunity to see these trades as well as, you know, just subscribing to the channel. Basically, we've been using this symmetrical channel to gauge when to buy in and when to, sell, when to sell short. We bought in the second we saw this movement start to break upwards. We capitalized off this massive run. And then when we hit resistance up top here, we knew to sell short and we capitalized off the run to the downside, making both profits on the way up and the way down. And that's why I love BitYard and I recommend you guys to take advantage of this. I link BitYard in the description down below. But the fact that they offer such a unique amount of cryptocurrencies to trade from, not only XRP, but Bitcoin and even these other smaller oil coins really is a whole slew of things you guys should check out. So I did capitalize off this run to the downside and I do think you guys should take advantage of this too. Not only that, but you can see that we're starting to head a little bit lower. So the second I see confirmation when we hit this bottom support right here, that's what I'm going to be buying in again in anticipation that we're going to start to rise all the way back up to 25 cents and I'll make all the profit because I'm leverage trading about 25 times and making the money off of that. Now, besides this, and I have to figure out how to keep this TV just playing something in the background, maybe some Bitcoin or something. Um, I do want to show you guys the other cryptocurrencies. So not only is Bit uh, XRP starting to reverse downwards, look at the Ethereum. Ethereum is hitting easily off its resistance here and it's starting to bounce lower. Good chance it's going to continue to head lower. So that's an eye opener for whether or not you guys want to profit off of that. We're starting to see resistance here and I do believe it's going to continue to fall. Uh, Bitcoin is the biggest one. Bitcoin is clearly showing reversal. It's showing uncertainty. It's showing inconsistency, which is usually a sign that a reversal pattern is going to happen. So the fact that we're seeing the uncertainty here where the bears are, and bulls are fighting, where the price opened is practically where the price closed, is a good Good sign that we're going to start to see a little drip to the downside, a little reversal to the downside as we're starting to see the overbought market become more into the, you know, more neutral level on uh, the RSI. Litecoin as well is hitting a beautiful resistance. I'm glad I readjusted my charts here. For you guys that don't know, I'll just show you the weekly. You can clearly see the symmetrical triangle that's also forming. This is an incredibly long one. This is from 2017 all the way to pretty much ending in 2021. You can see the obvious, obvious resistance that has been hit numerous times. And the fact is, there's a good chance that we're bouncing off this moving average right here on the weekly, and it's ultimately going to throw us back down. And we could very easily see a retestment back down at $44. So that is another opportunity to capitalize off this run. We were extremely overbought. We're starting to reverse lower. Good chance it's going to continue to drop. And I would not be surprised if we fell from the $56 we're at when we started at 58, all the way down to $50. So this is another big opportunity to capitalize off Litecoin in a short, which is very easy to do now that we have BitYard to trade Litecoin. That's awesome. Uh, lastly, I guess we'll wrap up today's video with the S&P 500. Um, I'm pumped. A lot of you guys are seeing this as a, you know, cup and handle formation, which I agree with. I mean, it is clear that there is a cup and handle forming. Um, but, you know, there's also this chance of a double top. You can see this is the clear you know, cup and handle, we have the cup, and then this is the handle. 
but we just keep heading lower and lower and lower. At some point we may correct up. It is definitely very possible. But my you know, idea and my thought is how much higher are we really going to go? Yes, I guess I could. If I'm really into, which I'm not playing around with my Roth account, I could buy in here in anticipation we run back up to resistance at 35 and maybe I'll make like a 10% profit and then I'd be selling off here. I can't short it in a Roth, so I'd wait for it to drop even lower and then I buy back in. But there's a lot of signals showing reversal and inconsistency. We're on the daily, but you can see we're starting to have that bearish cross confirmation. Not only that, but we're starting to drop lower. I ultimately see this closer to a double top, but we'll see that once we break the neckline. Um, but honestly, this is again, more inconsistency in the possibility that we see a reversal and a correction downwards. Clearly, the uncertainty reversal candle here, this shooting star doji, is a sign of you know uncertainty and resistance, but I'm not going to be surprised if we fall to $3,000. That's why I'm pretty much holding off on trading. I'm not big into trading on my Roth. I might be maybe later on, but I'm just going to keep my money out until we continue to head down. I'm not going to invest in something that drops. We're getting closer to the election. The election's affecting everything, so we'll see what happens. Otherwise, like I said, if you guys are new, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out Best Change in the description down below. Once again, huge shout out for them for sponsoring today's video. Otherwise, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Crypto the Official, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.